Right, let's do it. Let's craft us some Neutronium, a very late game thing that Kevin wants one of. Uh, and he also wants some anti-neutronium as well. And once we've done that, we'll have a very good time indeed, because we'll have finished Kevin's needy little quests. The bastard. Right, so neutronium, as we discovered at the end of the last episode, is a bit of a peculiar one to make. Um, so, what I've done is, since then, um, I've written down all the stuff that I will need to do. It's just by investigating all the various things here. It's not the end of the world, but it is an absolute whole thing. And thankfully, this episode, it will take us off planet to, to restock some resources and also try out our rocket boots a bit better this time. So, Neutronium is right about here. And we need to do Ultronium, Red Matter, Dark Matter, Exotic Matter, and Helium-3. A Red Matter uh, requires us to find something called Psi-1 Energy, as well as some Dark Matter, Matter Converter, and a couple of other things as well. Psi-1 Energy is one thing we'll have to investigate. I don't know actually how to do that at all. A Dark Matter is not too difficult, uh, and there's Exotic Matter is stuff that we've already got. Uh, Helium-3, we're pulling that out of the atmosphere. So, it's ooh, it's going to be a thing. It's going to be an absolute thing. Now, first of all, let's try to find you Ultronium. Um, I believe you actually... It's incredibly difficult to find. What you can do is look in this, and you'll get one hint. Uh, we have to um, gas centrifuge Solarium Stars. Uh, we've got a gas centrifuge down here. I've slightly tweaked this bit. We've now got a blast furnace um, for quick furnace action, although it's a bit pointless considering we've got the mod that allows us to craft everything instantly. But the gas furnace also has the occasional useful side effect as well. But whatever. So let's try to centrifuge some solarium stars. I've slightly tweaked this as well, so now this is all just finished bars, and this is all not that's liquid. That's all just the ores. Before I tried to ram them into one place and it was getting a bit out of hand. So we've got 19 solarium stars. I suspect we'll have to go and find some more of this off planet. But let's give it a go. Now this requires quite a lot of power, but we've got plenty to spare. Oh no, is that right? No, that's... Oh, God damn it. <laughs> not you. Uh, I need to clean some of this crap out. Uh, which one? Oh, that's the gas centrifuge. Right, let's pray for this because it doesn't seem to be a very lucky thing. Oh, oh, no, I tell a lie. Get a decent amount out of that. Holy shit. Also some toxic waste. Your Ultronium added to the collection. That's the first time we've got that. However, it doesn't actually unlock anything because it's so late game. Five Ultroniums. That's actually plenty. We don't actually need to go and get some more Solarium then. Although we are now out of Solarium, which is a bit of a pain. And we might have to do that at some point. Oh, um, also, um, remember the metaphysics thing? Hang on, let's, um, let's go into there. Uh, um, um, um. We still are accumulating research to unlock tier 6, so we can actually get make the anti-neutronium. And um, that requires, well, 2,200 madness and 2,000 research. Um, I've been using the, the crown of the idiot to get my madness back up, but we'll still need a bit more research. That can be happening whilst we do other stuff. There's um, Duxon's research, and there's the, the servers up in the top left, which is very, very, very rapidly creating his research. Look, there's 82. Yeah. Okay, so the red matter. Now let's actually go to over to here to have a look at. Red matter. There it is. So yeah, this is the requirements. I've already gone through some of these, but look, we also require blood. We've got some of that, but not enough. So there's a Psi-1 energy, essentially, we need to think about. The matter converter, uh, I don't believe that's too difficult. I think it just requires, like, unstable particles is the hardest thing. So let's concentrate on trying to work out how to get the Psi-1 energy. Now, this will be a brain researchy type thing. So I don't know where that's going to be. Maybe it's just on the regular crafting tables, I don't know. It's not here. Oh, is it? No, it's not. Nothing in that, in our little madness room, nothing there. Let's just double check it's, if it's in here or not. I don't think it will be. It's a psionic station, is what I'm looking for. So that would actually that would just be the regular fracking universe matter assembler. Uh, where is it? There's a psionic focus loader, but not the actual psionic table. Hang on. It's... Oh, there it is. It's somewhere else. Right. Okay, so... Oh, good lord. Okay, so I don't think any of these are going to be too difficult. Um, however, it does require me to write this down. Okay, that's not too difficult. Um, although, hang on. We'll need to eat some of my milks. 
I have lots of milks. <laughs> so, first of all, um, we need the insane notes, high-grade paper, leather, and blonde coffee. So let's try the coffee first, because I've already got some coffee beans from faffing around previously. Um, so we'll go to the coffee machine. We need two blonde coffees. Oh, we actually got, yep, got enough for that, for both of those. Delicious coffee! Right. Now we need the high-grade paper. We need 50 high-grade papers. So I think paper is at the regular furnace. And then... Oh, there's high-grade paper. Yeah, so we need... Wooden log and sulphur, essentially. Now I can... I get to use my, um... Mining laser. Upgraded again since last time. I required 12... Thingy-me-bobs to do that. Oh, you can't, can you do it with trees? Oh, you can't. No. No, oh, I wasn't really excited about using that. Never mind. Right, get the logs out. There's still a tiny spot of mercury there, so we've got to be careful about running past that spot. Put mercury there ages ago, and now it gives you poison and nastiness. Right, so I've got my logs. Let's make some paper. Make as many as we can. Oh, no, maybe not that many. Let's just stick to 50. Uh, we also need sulfur. We've got plenty of that. Probably. And we can make a high-grade paper. So let's make ten. Let's make the exact right amount. And there was one more thing for our insane notes. One leathers. Okay. There is no terminal here. That's very really irritating. If you go over here. I've only got 18 leathers. That's actually not a huge amount. Oh, that's my Instafoid. I don't want that. Right, some of those buggers. This is going to take a bit of time for some reason. Boop. Right. Your lab notes thoroughly nutters. All right. <laughs> Fair enough. Right, so we've got the we've got the thing. Oh yeah, the psionics table. Now it actually also requires a brain in a jar. We, we've actually made one of these and placed it there as a decoration. So that will actually do the trick, which is rather convenient. So we've got a brain in the jar, we've got insane notes, we need some copper! Twelve copper bars, apparently. Boop, boop, boop. Plenty of those, let's just get... Oh, that's not quite... Oh, we'll just get twelve. Give me twelve. Oh, that's thirteen. Oh, piss. And also some bio ooze. I'm not quite sure I've got any of that. Oh, I've got shitloads. No need for them. And some titanium, and that'll do us. Two of them. So now we can make our psionics table. That wasn't too painful. There it is. Now, so hope, so we need we need to unlock the how to make this bloody energy stuff. So I'm hoping because previously I thought the brain in the jar energy stuff was just purely the same as regular battery stuff like up here. But apparently not. Um, where can this go? It feels like a madness thing. So let's put it in. The madness room. There's a bit of space here. Ah, here we go. So, fairly regular fracking universe type interface. Oh, crap, there's a lot of stuff. Ah, here we go, look. Oh, actually, that's um, not what I expected. We only need 50 of this, so we just need one more brain in a jar and some Lunari crystal. Oh, that's a lot easier. I thought I'd actually have to set up a whole system. Also, maybe maybe the whole brain in a jar battery system is just the same as that, then. Maybe it's just a different way of doing it. But it looks like this is a lot easier than I expected, which is... Good, because we've got a lot to do. So we need another brain in a jar. Which you can also make here. We also... Oh, we do need a bunch of stuff, though. Inferior brain. Do we have any of those? Do we? Bugger. I think I used them all up. Oh, no! We do have a little spare for my brain spree from a few episodes ago. Alright. So that brain in a jar, where is it? There it is. We need an empty bottle, poison, and copper wire. Went a bit far there. Copper wire. And inevitably, I've forgotten the third thing. Oh, yeah, poison. I'm sure we've got millions of those. Right, brain in a jar. Boop. And we just need Lunari Crystal, which we've definitely got. Not much of. Bloody hell. But enough. It'll do. So, we've got some energy. 
which is nice. So we've got, oh, we need the blood next um, for our red matter. A red matter, we need four for a neutronium. Um, the, uh, the ingredients list I've got actually produces five, which is convenient. So we do need blood. I do know that we haven't got quite enough of this. We've got 112. So we could either go to a blood planet, if there is such a thing, or make it. Uh, I don't know where I'd actually go and get blood from, using my teleporter list. I wonder if we've got anywhere obvious. Look, a madness planet might have it. Is it a madness planet? What's it called? Atropy, that's it. Atropus. Well, let's go there and try to find some blood from there. Um, I will need to prepare for this. I'll need a madness shield. Although, having said that, um, let's not. Let's just remind ourselves exactly. We will need something, though. Hang on. What armor have I got? We've got phase seven, which is immune to stuff that isn't. Okay, we're going to need a. We, I think we're going to need an EPP, aren't we? Some description. Let's see what I've got. I can't remember what um, Atropos planets will do to me, other than. Okay, let's get the. Let's get, actually get the Madness Shield. Because I don't know. There it is. Um, my current thing is. Oh, it's the field generator with a rebreather in it. Um, I don't think I'll bother with that. I'll change. I'll change. May need that. Okay, let's have a look. What other better stuff have we got? We may need a rebreather. I'm not sure if we've. I'm not sure if that's actually necessary, but let's give it a go. Uh, huh. There. Right, let's atropus. And we need blood. Blood! Blood! And bits of sick. I didn't make the... Um, oh, I was going to make a, um, the emergency teleporter. Am I okay? I believe so. I think I'm cool. Shall I get the emergency teleporter? We'll be right back. One quick bit of crafting later. Two unstable particles and two titaniums. We haven't got many unstable particles, but I think it might be worth it. I think what I'll well do is I'll reaver it. Well, I've got a horrible feeling. This is a bit broken and I need to repair this. Yeah, look at it. It's a piece of old crap. <laughs> yeah. Yes! Thankfully, I've got, I've, I've got some chips somewhere. S now, that's honey. Oh, that's the honey we found ages ago. One thing I do want to do is get more healing per um, chance going on. Now, there's a there's a medikit 4 which I've got my eye on, which I'll maybe try and craft a bit later, because I mean, it requires something peculiar but that we now have access to. And not nothing to do with honey as well, which is convenient. But we'll go into that. Hope if I remember, we'll do that later. I'm not quite sure if there is any blood around here. The end of the world is here. Hang on. Oh, it's um, it's raining something. Hey, what's it? Where are you? Oh, blah, blah, blah. oh, get out of the way! Get out of the way! No, 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 no! What are you? <laughs> I'm missing every single shot here. There we go. Essentia Obscura. Don't know what that is, but that could be useful for something. At some point. Where, where did that go? Oh, it's liquid! Ooh. Maybe that's one of those renamed things. Things get renamed in this game from time to time. Yeah, let's go. Let's go digging with my mining laser of truth and justice. Oh hell yeah, this is this is a this is a mining laser. This is a mining laser. Don't like you. I think we're just going to find, keep on finding plasmic fluid at this rate. But let's have a dig down. I've got my emergency teleporter. Or I think it's actually called escape teleporter. So we can we can do a good old dig down and see what's what. See if we can find anything good lower down. Thankfully, the enemies aren't really very tough because it's only a fairly low tier planet. Learn to craft tier and quiet us all. Oh, I've got some ancient essence. I've got a bucket load of it, which is handy because that's um, what we were wanting previously. Although that's really creepy when that eye, eye in the background follows you. It looks like there's a monster, but there's not. 
Are we ever going to find any blood? If not, we'll just have to make it. I mean, it's all all that'll require us to do is sacrifice some research. I think it's like one for one, like one water, one research, one blood. Where are we? There we go. Oh, is this honey? It is honey material. Ooh. We're in some sort of hive area. There's also that. Shitty death. Oh, that was full damage as well. That was, so we can't use our crystal skull. Mm, you farts. Now, will I be able to get that stuff back? Well, I found it. It's a bit of an effort. Mainly avoiding drops, that was a big problem, but... Now we're actually a long way down. I think we might... This... There's a lot of those bloody... Diggy things around. Oop, shit! That's, that's background. <laughs> it may be time to use the emergency teleporter. This place is just full of evil worms. I did actually find some... On the way, on the surface, I did find a smattering of blood in pools. But only literally about five... Things worth. Might as well just get a little bit of honey whilst I'm here. Also, there's some good quality cinnabar. So it's been proven useful for certain things, just not blood, really. Right, let's emergency teleport. How does it work? How does it work? Is it, do I have to place it? Apparently so. Oh, apparently so. Oh, okay. Wonder if that gets used up or not then. Anyway, let's um let's make some blood instead. So I did manage to get a little bit, but not enough. So let's go grab It's a fat lot of good that skull is. Let's go and get some blood. Here we go. Research and wall ah. So we need about for about 150, I'm guessing. Maybe 108. Let's go for yeah. <laughs> Slightly random amount. And let's get the blood out of... Oh, we've already got it, haven't we? That should have actually stacked it, so... Um, there is 200... Oh, 295! Oh, poo. Blood. Doop, 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 doop. Right, so that's enough. This, this is going to be ultimately enough for one neutronium only. We'll need maybe more than one, I don't know. So we've got the blood, we've got the Cyan energy, we've the matter converter. I'm sure we've had a matter converter at some point. Matter converter. Where would that be? Let's actually, it'll be in the. I think it'll be in, in here. Here it is. Five. Oh, unstable particles, tritanium, and liquefied crystal. Right, so let's make the matter thing. Matter converter. Sure, I've seen some of this before. Yeah. Right. And, right. Yes, we need liquid protocyte. That's right, yeah. Okay. Oh, we've only got 13. We actually need 20. Ah. So that'll, that'll be something that we need to get by... I think we can go... And, have we actually got that? Unfortunately, we haven't got that from... My thing. I could try just go to a proto planet. I think we've got one on the list. Uh, we'll probably need proto protection. I'm not quite sure if what I've got will protect me against that. So let's change out our EPP to a that one. I think. Oh, this needs to be proto poison, doesn't it? Seems a bit stupid using this one, but yeah. Why one of the other ones will will have done the trick as well? And we can get liquid protocyte from other ways. But let's go off planet because I want to go off planet. I get f for the feeling of being cooped up. Mm, it's looking madness. It looks like I've been down there at some point. Or maybe not. Or oh, maybe so. Right, liquid proto. So we've got normal proto site everywhere. Oh, I have been down here. Look. <laughs> uh, these rocket boots are very good for mining. Ooh! Uh, oh, it's bio ooze. 
So I'm back from the planet. Um, I've got... I've, I've put everything away. Um, I've got myself quite a bit of prototypey stuff. I know um, we didn't find any liquid protocyte, but I think if you put a protocyte or through various things, you do actually get liquid out of it. Oh, here we go. There's liquid protocyte, yes. Uh, that's not a huge amount. We're actually we're getting a protocyte bar out of this, which is really convenient. Actually, a huge amount of it. Not nearly as much liquid protocyte. How much do we need? We need 20. So we've actually got enough there for one batch of red matter. Might be enough. I think we might need two batches of red matter overall, though, because we might need more than one neutronium. Nice right, so to make dark matter. We do need... Well, we need more fight, state phase gel, shadow gas, and mercury. Quite a bit of that. So, okay, that's, that's very straightforward. I'll be making a bit more more fights. I think a couple of episodes ago, so. Uh, oh, state phase gel. We've got plenty of that. We've been collecting that. Uh, shadow gas might be tricky. We've got 44. That's, again, enough for one batch. Uh, maybe two. I think we need 20 for that. And finally, Mercury. I've got shitloads of this. Now we can make the dark matter. Dark matter is much easier than red matter. Um, how much do we need? We don't need much. Let's just make a couple of those. Learn to craft blood chalice. So now we can make the red matter. Finally, let's make as much as we can. Apparently there's only one. Why? Oh, liquid protocyte, that's why. Right, so red matter. So, that's the next stage to try and get this bloody neutronium. We've got the ultra, the ultronium. We've got the red matter. We've got five of those. We only need four. And we need dark... Ah, oh, we need more dark matter. We actually do need 24 dark matters. So let's actually do that. Oh, we need more. We need more... Oh, we need more shadow gas. Well, that's fine. Um, we, could, we can go to a uh, that gas giant planet and get some from the atmosphere. Um, this could kill us, though. So what I'm going to do quickly is put all this stuff away in a, in a temporary chest. What's this? An unknown gene. Not sure where I picked that up from. I'm going to put all this in a temporary chest just so if we do die, we don't lose everything. Right, we're on our way to Delta Bint 1. I'm hoping we are... S okay. Hey, here's the gas bags. I hope we're not going to die. Hello, you. The flappy thing. Right, so we've got to be very careful here. Very, very careful indeed. Because it is very, very, very dangerous. Uh, but the shadow gas is a bit lower down. Uh. <laughs> Just a bit. There, there it is. It's right below us. Um. Oh, uh. Oh, mate. Okay, the, 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 the manta ray is here. I'm going to try and be as cautious as possible here. Do it old school. Do 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 down here. There is the precious shadow gas. By the way, and the reason why I'm surviving on this at the moment is because our phase chest plate, tier seven armor, all is immune to pressure. So we're all very good with that. And I'm not quite sure what else I actually needed for this, but I seem to be doing okay. I'm using the field. I'm using my uh, field EPP with rebreather. Now we seem to be um. Oh, there we go. Shadow gas. Yay! This is going to get as much as this as we can whilst we're here. I was going to make an arc smelter at some point, but that requires a lot of stuff. I looked into it and it's horrible. Oh, hello. Stay back. Reload. Yeah, piss off, you high-pressure prick. Turn tail and bugger off. Uh-oh. It hurt us. Doesn't seem to be actually... Oh, there we go. It is actually hurting. Ooh, I wonder what its drops are. Let's have a go. Wait for it. Wait for it to go over the top of my thing. So I can actually capture anything. Oh, 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 oh. Shoot, 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 shoot. There. Killed nature. Oh, oh! Another unknown gene. And also, 30 researchers. Cool. We actually did need that. I'm glad we came here now. Hup! 
Right, so shadow gas. We have plenty, so we can make our dark matter. Don't spend much time on this ship, do I, these days? It's a crap ship anyway. Boo! Alright. Oh, I'm all slow. I'm still. Oh, that's okay. It's just the after effects of the planet. Dark Ma. Oh, I've just. <laughs> that's why. Yes, hang on. I put it on in a chest, didn't I? Here he is. Here's all my gubs. We haven't actually used the transmutation matrix, the item upgrader, yet. Anyway, dark matter. Ten. We don't need that much. Twenty-four will do the trick. And is that it? Are we finally at the stage where we can make god damn um, neutronium? We've got the exo have we got the exotic matter. Hang on. And we need helium three. Fifty-two. That'll do. That might be it. We can we make neutronium yet? Please, please let us make the bloody neutronium. Oh, we can. Um, we don't have enough to make two. That should be okay. If we didn't need to make another one, we just need a bit more. We need more dark matter. We need more exotic matter and a little more helium three. But this is it, lads. That was anticlimactic, but we did it. We got one neutronium, which actually fulfills Matey Pie's thing. The only thing is, if we now use this to craft something else, will that one of one disappear again? Uh, we shall see. Have I learned to make anti-neutronium? No, I haven't, because I need to actually research that. We haven't actually quite got enough research yet to get down to tier 6. Anti-neutronium. We need... We've got, we've got the madness, we just need the 2,000 research and we've got 1,300 thereabouts. Let's check in with the server. 214, not bad. Let's check in with Duxon. 144. So we are getting there. Hun what, 723. 1723. Well, I guess we just need to do a bit more of this thing where we just um, bung a few things through. Or we go and shoot some more manta rays or whatever. Um, output. So using the quantum extractor, we can put in all sorts of things. I mean, it really does. I mean, a lot of. Hmm. There's so much good stuff. I mean, ore oh, might be a thing. I'll try a few things and see what we can get. I mean, we've got gold for days. Let's see. And these are basic things. Oh, we search. There we go. Let's grab all this while whilst we're here. By the looks of it, the iron ore gives us liquid iron, which is understandable. And the gold may give us research, so let's forget that. Oh, don't, don't throw it away. Yeah, the gold gives us loads of research. Holy shit, that's actually really good. So I can just wait for that to actually tick up now. And we'll be able to make... We'll be able to unlock our anti-neutronium and see what the hell it requires. I think that will require one neutronium, so we do need a bit more of that other stuff. So we need to be making some more dark matter. And we also need to get some more helium-3. And make some get some more exotic matter. You can craft that, or we can go and kill some more... Lads in the cybersphere. Oh, hang on. I see, I see you. Precursor memory unit, spare parts, a manipulator module, more spare parts. This is going to take a while, isn't it? Let's keep on going. Oh, there's another one. Another couple of ads. Oh, God. I really could do with another sword. I think it might be the market for... I think there's, more, there's, a, there's a tier 8 broadsword that I've got my eye on. Which is somewhere. And I think it's a... Ethereum one. This might be cool. Fuck. Bollocks. 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 Now, can I actually get back to... I think I might be able to get there, but that was actually... I was, I was killed in combat, so the crystal skull should work. It did. <laughs> holy shit. I'm not sure. If, I, I held the button down this time. I'm not sure if that's what did it. But holy shit. 
the first time I've ever actually managed to get that to work. Hooray! Hooray for me! Anyway, we still need more exotic matter. Ugh. Blimey, this is exhausting, but we're very nearly there, I think. Look at all this research. Holy shite, that's a lot of research. It's the best source of research I've found so far. Just regular gold ore. Which is nice. So now we've got plenty of research. Plenty! So we can finally unlock anti-neutronium. Boop! Takes our research madness down to only 600. We've got loads of normal research left over. Good! Right, we're doing it. Anti-neutronium. We can now do that. So I'm guessing it's in the same place as here, isn't it? As the, as the neutronium. Here it is. Neutronium, got one of them. Quantum fluid. Dark, more dark matter. And subspace flux fluid. Let's immediately make some dark matter. We can do that. So we've got some spare stuffs. I think it was about for that. Didn't need to go out and come back in again, but never mind. Um, okay, right. Anti-neutronium. This is... This presumably is where the hard stuff's going to be. Quantum fluid and subspace flux fluid. I think we've been collecting at least one of those. Quantum fluid and subspace flux fluid. We've got nine of that. And subspace flux fluid. We've got eleven of that. So, I think that's from, yeah, from killing stuff in the cybersphere. Um, anti, 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 anti... So we just need 11 more quantum fluids. Now I think some of these fluids are gettable from this, and the Urtius Converter. I think that's how you make a lot of fuels and fluids in the late game. So it's just a case of finding something to put in there. Uh, like some, I think fuel, basically any kind of fuel goes in there to hopefully get later game fuel. So let's try with some of the rods. We've got, what have we got at the moment? We've got Neutronium, we don't want to get rid of that. Ultronium. I might put one through, because we've actually got Ultronium to spare, weirdly enough. I'm going to try putting one of these through and see what happens. Oh, it's gone. Hmm, I think these take a while. See what else we've got. We've got a lot of these. Tritium. That might be worth trying. Uranium, maybe. Thorium. All these are fuels, so... Surely this will, they'll have some good effects. Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah, quantum fluid! Excellent, we've got 14 already. Let's try the tritium. Uh oh. Tritium does not work. Uranium. Thorium? Hmm. We've got one batch of it, but. Uh. What other flu what other fuels have we got then? We could try just putting more. Just more old ul train. What the hell it's called in? I don't think we, we may need. We'll need one more if we need to make another neutronium. So let's not go. Let's let's just put two of these through. What else? I mean, we've got Urtius, just general Urtius fuel. But I think that last we tried that last time and it gave us solid state gel, which is fine. Oh, by the way, just whilst I think about it, yeah, the liquid you can you can make li liquid protocyte here quite easily. Um, so uh, earlier on, I was making a bit of a meal of that, but never mind. So we need one more. I think there's still... There we go. Still one more coming down the pipe. So that's it. We've actually already made anti-neutronium, I think. That was very, very much faster. Piss. Learn to craft neutron bomb. Ooh. We do actually need to make another neutronium. Thankfully, because um, I think we've been planning for this pretty much, so it's not going to take much longer to get neutronium. We just need... More of little bits of this here and there. Dark matter should be easy enough. Red matter, a bit more of a pain in the arse. Helium-3, easy. Oh, there we go. Quantum extractor, moon dust, helium-3. So that should be easier to get in future if we ever need any more of this. But we shouldn't now, because I think now I've actually got the other... I've got everything we need now for... Uh-oh. We need one more dark matter. <sighs> Work. Dark matter. One more of them. And after all that bloody work, we can make one more neutronium. And we've done it! 5,000 madness. 
Unknown artifact. Learn to craft Atom Smasher. And I appear to have got you Neutronium back. Oh no, that's old. I just give it all that nonsense. Hang on. Will you go away? <laughs> no, I can't. Anyway, holy shit, you did it. I guess you aren't the dumbass I had assumed. In return, I give you the super neat technology blueprint I found lying around in the anti-realm. No, I won't tell you where that is. It's known, known only to Greg's myself and a fried wonton located on... And then it kind of like goes a bit rogue. Something, something, something. The Dave. Rewards, unknown artifact, and madness. Bonus, one quid. Unknown artifact, don't know what it is. But... Will you sod off this? I don't know. This just seems to have gone totally rogue. Anyway. <laughs> Fair enough. So we've done it. We've made... We've completed the Kevin quests. We've made Andrew Neutronium and Neutronium, which is now gone forever. Huh. <sighs> now what? Uh. Oh yes, let's see if... We, we, this is the Atom Smasher, I think. That is the ultimate thing. I wonder where you actually make that. Because that apparently is something that can just... Is like the mining laser from hell. It just destroys absolutely everything. But yeah, we'll stop here. And I'll, I need to put everything away. <laughs> I've got too much stuff. Uh, and we'll... In, in a future episode, at some point, we'll actually look at the... Try to get the Atom Smasher. But I've got a horrible feeling it's going to be untenably horrible to make. Oh! There it is! Anti-Neutronium 40. Well, fuck that. <laughs>